You guys asked for it, or we deliver. You want more behind the scenes looks? Here's another. This one we're entitling The Studio, Part 1 The Tools. This is our main workhorse. Well, I take the back, it's our only computer. Um, it's a Toshiba laptop. It's a few years old now. Let me just open it up here. We're running. Hope that isn't focused enough that you can read it. Uh, got about 8 gigs of RAM, Linux Mint 15, Olivia, uh, and it has an NVIDIA GeForce 310M, which it's okay, but definitely we would like better because the software we use, which we're going to have addition to coming shortly, which will be software, um, the software really would work better with a better graphics card for the render engine. So this is the computer. It's perfectly standard. I mean, there's really nothing out of the ordinary about it. Uh, a couple years old, like I said, we definitely knew it would be better, but don't have the budget or the space for that right now. Uh, we have a graphics tablet, which if you've ever tried drawing anything with a mouse, you know how terrible it probably ends up looking. This lets us use a stylus here. Got a pen on the front, Oops. pen on the front, eraser on the back, and it has two buttons there: cordless, batteryless. Picked it up for like eight dollars at a resale shop. These things retail for like two, three hundred dollars at the time when this was released. It's a little less expensive for these now, but they're still a couple hundred bucks. So excellent deal from a resale shop. I apologize in advance for this next clip. The um, video is probably going to be a little jerky and might be hard to make things out, but this M Audio, I thought I had a number on there here, Mobile Pre USB Preamp. Picked this up for like four bucks at a resale shop. Came with like $900 worth of software. This unit itself, I forget what exactly it cost, but a lot more than four dollars. Another excellent deal from a resale shop. XLR cable. That I actually had to buy full price from some Dale Audio in New York. That was like 12 bucks. And then this microphone, which is a very nice microphone. Samsung brand. It's a karaoke microphone, but it works perfect for what we do. Um, I mean, you've heard the audio. It sounds amazing. This thing is just its incredible. Uh, that was... I think like six bucks again from a resale shop. Tripod. There's actually two of these, a taller one and I have a shorter one, but I'm not going to show you the shorter one because I'd have to show you too much of my messy, piled up, cluttered up studio. So, uh, tripod. Again, picked that up from a resale shop. Most everything we have we picked up from resale shops. Um, I mean, this guy cost, I think, like four bucks. The other tripod, I think, cost about the same. Um,. I think that's really it. Um, the only other piece of software really would be the camera. And as much as we would like to show you a video of the camera, we really can't because we're using the camera to film this. So, I thought I had the box sitting around here someplace. Yes, I do. Well, let me grab that box and we can show you the box at least. This box will probably look familiar to some of you guys. For those of you who watched the unboxing video yeah remember that we'll link to it in the description um, yeah so this is the camera box whoops um, you probably really can't read any of that but there we go this is kinda of more the stuff you'd want to see anyways it is an extremely nice camera um, I believe it's like 52 time 53 time advanced zoom which isn't quite all optical, but there's quite a bit of optical zoom. Uh, full HD, 60 frames a second, which is very good for when we're doing anything that has green screens or special effects, camera tracking, that kind of stuff. The extra frame rate makes it easier to track and easier to key. So this was, this honestly is the most expensive part of everything we have right now. Uh, the laptop I think was about 500 bucks. The camera. I mean, the laptop we bought, 
four years ago or something. And that wasn't for this project or even for the Bible anime. I just bought it for my own personal use because it's my old one died. Uh, this camera I bought specifically for the Bible animated, though I'm definitely using it for things other than that as well. Um, but for this project, this camera, easily the most expensive portion of it. So there you have it. A look at the hardware tools of the studio. Uh, coming shortly, we will have the software edition, which will be going over some of the different programs we're using. And we, of course, will give download links for everything because it is all open source. Uh, so you can download it all, use it yourself.